beautiful artists and welcome back to another episode of Paint Along with Sky. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Sky and I post beginning level acrylic tutorials here on YouTube every Saturday. So hit subscribe if you'd like to join the fun and paint along. Hit the bell icon to be notified when I post a new video. Okay, so this week we have a delicious and tropical looking pineapple painting. Very, very simple. We're just gonna be using our three standard brushes today. And I'm going to start out with a really easy background step. Uh, so here in my palette, I just have white, yellow, and red. Go ahead and check the description box below uh, for a more detailed materials list of everything that you need to paint along. Okay, let's go ahead and jump in. I'm gonna start with my largest brush. And just a little bit of water on that brush. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make a pink. So go ahead and just grab your white and a little bit of red, a little bit more. And you're gonna make a beautiful tropical pink. There we go. Get that on either sides of your brush. We're just gonna create a gradation now from the top part of our canvas coming down. So a little bit of that pink. I'm also going to grab just a little bit of white and that's going to create some nice variation within my brush strokes. A little bit of texture here. Soft, easy colors. Just an easy gradation today. Mm -hmm, looks good. Okay, now we're going to add just a little bit of yellow, just a pinch of yellow. I'm going to create a peachy color. I'm going to do just a stripe of that orange, pink, peachy color across the center of my canvas. And then again, I'm going to use a little bit of white to help me blend it into the pink and just also add some nice variation within the brush strokes. Okay, that's looking really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse my brush now. And I'm just gonna create a light yellow with yellow and white. Using a little bit of palette paper here on my palette. Okay, and then we will have created a, a beautiful three color gradation. When we're finished here, what I do is fill in the yellow first and then go back in here. A little bit of a uneven surface in my canvas. Sorry about that wobble. Okay, that looks really pretty. I think I'm just gonna leave it at that. There's always gonna come a point where it looks pretty good and there's a tendency to overwork things. Um, so go ahead and just, when it looks good, leave it. <laughs> uh, let's give this a few minutes to dry and then we'll come back and paint our pineapple. You'll probably want to wash your brush and then also rinse off your palette or get a fresh piece of palette paper. Okay, see you in a few. Okay, welcome back. I have a dry background, a fresh piece of palette paper here, uh, and fresh colors. So I again have yellow and red, and then I also have blue, so my primary colors here, black and white, and then I have two tones of green, a grass green, and a phthalo green. I'm actually going to mix up a brown, uh, which is going to be the color that we start with. Uh, and go ahead and grab your medium size pointed brush. And uh, a shortcut here too, if you would prefer, uh, is to just buy bottle brown, just a bottle of brown paint. But I'm going to mix my brown today uh, by taking all three of my primary colors and mixing them together. So that was a pretty good first attempt there. <laughs> a little bit more red. And you can add a little bit of white too if you'd like. You can also even add black. It kind of depends on what uh, 
brown you want to go for. I'm going to go for like a medium warm brown. So that actually looks pretty good to me. Now I'm going to create the main base shape of my pineapple now. Uh, I'm going to go off center just a tiny bit. I think maybe a little bit to the left. You just want to create an oval, a half oval, I suppose. I always like to start small. That way I can kind of finesse my shape. And you want to kind of come to a point a little bit. It's not a perfect oval. It kind of comes to a point and then gets a little bit wider towards the base. Okay. You want to make sure that it's big enough to still be an interesting focal point. But also small enough to where you can still have your nice little greenery on top. I'm just going to go ahead and fill it in with that brown. So it's just the base color. There's a few steps. So just bear with me. Okay, just getting that all filled in with that base color brown. Okay, nice smooth line. The brush strokes in here don't matter that much as far as which direction that you're putting them in there. So just go ahead and just get it filled in because we are going to add a few more colors. Okay, that looks good. It almost looks like a coconut right now. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and grab our tiny brushes now. We're going to do some work with white. Uh, so go ahead and just grab some white. We're almost using this white like you'd use a pencil. And we're going to do the top part of our pineapple. And we're also going to cut our bottom part into sections. Uh, so it's okay if you kind of pull into the brown. We're going to be filling this all in uh, and getting it all covered. So don't worry about that. Just going from the top part here, you're going to create a little crazy hairdo. Lots of these little sort of triangular like curved shapes. You're going to kind of come from the center. So there's like a core there that goes through. So it doesn't just come from the top, it actually kind of comes up. You want it to be even and balanced, but not exactly the same. And kind of going in different directions. Some of them, we're obviously going to see this better once we get it all filled in. So now I have them going off in either side here, but you also want to make it look like some are coming forward. So I'm going to do one that comes from like right here. And this is where it's going to kind of pull into your brown a little bit, and that's okay. And maybe one more here. Maybe even a few more. Okay. That looks about right to me. And I'm going to grab my medium sized brush again. And just go ahead and fill that in with green. I think I'm just going to mix my grass green with a little bit of my phalo green. Maybe add a pinch of yellow in there too to make it nice and vibrant. And we're just going to go in here and get that all filled in with green. And you want these to really come to a nice point. So even if you want to use your baby brush there instead, just for a little bit more control, you are welcome to do that. But if you have very light texture, very light pressure rather, you'll have the ability to bring it out ever so gently into a nice point. I apologize for the construction noise that's happening right next to me. <laughs> Always seems to be get an early start day when I want to film. 
And I don't know how to have natural light and not natural noise, so I apologize for that. I seem to have stopped. <laughs> We'll see what's next. There's, it's always a surprise. I like to do these videos in one take. So who knows what's gonna happen. I'm eventually going to be going live, uh, which should be really fun. I look forward to being able to interact with you guys to an extent um, on the live chat. There's gonna be you know a lot of focus involved too, of course, with me creating the painting. Uh, but that way you'll, you will be able to interact with me a little bit, ask some questions. Uh, that can't happen until I have a thousand subscribers. So make sure and hit subscribe. I have about 600 right now. Not too far away. <laughs> uh, so probably within, I'd say four to six months. I'm going to go ahead and get that started, which I'm looking forward to doing. So that is going to be even more exciting as to what kind of noises are going to happen for that. <laughs> it's, all, it's my intent to provide a peaceful space and easy to follow class, but you know, sometimes, sometimes things happen. Okay, just getting that green filled in. okay if it looks a little bit wonky right now. Yeah, just trust the process. If you are painting along today, I do have a Facebook group that I created for painters to share their art. So again, check the description box. Or a link to join us over there we'd love to have you and you can post your art whatever kind of art really you got going on whether it be from painting along with me or just on your own very supportive been really kind I really enjoyed uh, that group so far okay just getting that filled in with green looks good I'm gonna grab my tiny brush again and I'm gonna grab some white I'm going to section my pineapple here on the bottom. Okay, so you want to have curved brush strokes with this. So I'm going to start just a little bit up. And then I want to create like pretty even squares. So I want to try to go up maybe like an inch or so. And you want these to be like even stripes. So try to have that be the same. And then it will curve across the pineapple. We're just sectioning it right now. So we come peekaboo from behind there. Again, we're just kind of getting the sketch on. So don't worry too much about perfection. Perfection does not exist anyway. Like the endless construction noises that come from my window. <laughs> Okay, looks good. And now the other direction. So we're keeping that curve. There we go. Like so. Okay, now let's grab our medium brush again and we're going to create a little bit of interest within our pineapple now. This is gonna give it a really nice circular shape. So let's go ahead and start uh, with a yellowish white brown, it's like a yellowish beige. It's gonna be our highlight color. It's gonna go just in the top part here. You're just going to add a few chunky brush strokes into the top third or so of your pineapple. Okay, that brown is sort of serving as a shadow. You don't need to be neat with this. You kind of just want to 
get that in there with a little bit of painterly interest. Okay, and now we're going to add just a little bit of red and a little bit more brown and create, again, it's almost like a peachy color, sort of similar to our background. And we're just gonna put this in here. Again, keeping all the brush strokes going different directions, really getting some texture in there. A little bit more red. And you can even be a little bit more on the pink side in some of these places too. Uh, just kind of adding it here and there. It's gonna make that much more interesting texture. Okay, and the idea is also sort of like a gradation. So we're moving again from like a yellow highlighty color to a darker red shadow color, um, but still on top of that brown. Just a few brush strokes now of a darker pink in the bottom sections. And you can even grab a little bit of yellow and add it into the pink and bring a little bit of pink and bring it up like so. And that kind of helps things balance out there. Go ahead and rinse your brush now. We're going to do something similar on the top part of our pineapple. Uh, so we're going to add some highlights and shadows. Let's start with yellowish green, yellow green together. Just a nice highlight color here. You're just going to go on the top part of your little leaves. Or fronds, I'm not quite sure the terminology there. Very nice. You might get a little bit of blending. Might also just be layering. Either way works great. We're just trying to make it not one solid, boring green. Some of them are gonna be thicker than others. Okay, that looks about right. Now I'm gonna use my baby brush uh, just to go in a little with a little bit more control here. Uh, with a darker green. Going just on the bottom parts here, just here and there. We are going to be still using black and white uh, as our darkest shadow and lightest highlight. Okay, sorry, quick location change. Hopefully this is a little bit quieter. Um, we were using our baby brush and coming in here with phthalo green uh, and just adding a little bit of shadow into our greenery. This is good. I've hidden myself into a corner and recreated some artificial light. <laughs> It actually still looks pretty good. So thank you all for bearing with me as I am still new at all of this. Not new to teaching, but new to filming. Not new to performing either. Done a lot of musical theater. Sometimes I sing for you guys. Okay looking very cute and we are actually just a few steps away from being done believe it or not okay let's hop back down into our pineapple again i'm gonna add a little bit of light yellow as a highlight color in a few places before we do our black and white Black and white is going to kind of finish everything off very nicely. A little bit of water into your paint, as always, helps everything go nice and smooth. Okay, in each of these little squares that you made, I'm going to kind of highlight the outside edges. 
but it doesn't need to be all four sides of every one. So it's kind of where the light is hitting the uneven rough texture of the pineapple. Just adding some interest there, here and there a little bit in each of those little sections. Let's go ahead and take that light yellow. I think I'm gonna add just a little bit more yellow. And add just a tiny bit of that light yellow onto our greenery as well. I just think that just make it, makes it look really sunny and nice. Pick up the colors from our background a little bit. Very cute. Nice little highlights here and there. Okay, let's go ahead and add our black and white now. Let's start with black, just a little bit of water. As always, makes that acrylic paint go nice and smooth. Very warm day here today in the Pacific Northwest not usually warm we are usually vampires here so i actually <laughs> don't really like the sunshine i know that sounds weird now let's go ahead and outline our pineapple first this step as always is optional so you don't have to do you know, bold black outlines on your painting if it makes you too nervous. But I do think it adds a little something, some for sure. And I've said this in other classes, but yeah, sometimes people don't like the black outline for whatever reason. I think usually just they're afraid of being too heavy handed with it. Uh, so, you know, customize your painting however you like. This is your painting, you're the world. Okay, I'm going into each of my little leaves here and adding some black. I'm kind of outlining it, but I'm also just kind of making it a shadow. It's not an exact placement. I think it looks nice to have it be a little bit messy. There we go. Very cute. Let's go ahead and take that black into our checkered pattern down here. Light handed with that brush. We're just outlining, kind of adding that shadow. Not being a perfectionist about it, letting this be a little bit funky, a little bit stylized and the other way you want to have some of your white showing still from your sketch and that adds a nice little highlight as well okay that looks great i think i'm gonna have it actually a little bit more in black up here. Just at the ends. Yeah. And then in each of my little sections, I'm just going to do a little, like, boop. Almost like a pie sign. A little squiggle. A little mustache hat kind of every single one would have them spikes okay adding just a little bit of shadow again on my greenery because that part would be pretty dark there we go And then just a little bit of white on top of our pineapple spikes. Really adds a little piece de la resistance, something, something. I think this turned out pretty cute, albeit a bit problematic in the audio department. 
I think this sounds better. Let me know what you thought of today's painting in the comment section. I also have this beautiful new painting set up uh, rather than my usual papered table. Uh, so kicking it up a notch for you guys, trying to make it extra nice. <laughs> uh, and then also just easy for me to replicate because I do plan on providing classes every Saturday for a really long time, for at least a couple of years, uh, and just have a really nice library for everyone. So make sure and subscribe uh, if you haven't already for all that good stuff coming down the road want to constantly improve for you guys. I'm adding just a little bit of white into my greenery as well and that is actually going to be the final step of today's painting and that is all I have for you guys. So again let me know what you thought of the painting in the comment section. I would love to see you over in the art club. I hope you had fun. Uh, that's all I have for you. So until next time, stay creative.